Oh, oh my god. All right, but okay. all right, we got Purple Rain versus Takasaka. We got no, Ganon versus Lucas. It's gonna be interesting. I want to see how this turns out. Lucas starting off strong. Ganon, I don't know what to feel about Ganon right now. He doesn't look as terrible as people think. Yeah, I mean, like I, I personally think he's underrated, but then I don't know because he's so easy to edge guard sometimes, just because he's a big character and like. It's scary edge guarding Ganon though, because it's the same issue as Captain Falcon. He just died to up B sometimes because he can't attack it. That's true. So, we'll most of my characters have disjoint, so it's a little less worrisome for me. I can space around it. But no, you, I mean that's still very accurate. Oh, that PK freeze missing. I'm surprised. Ooh. PK freeze being a really strong edge guard tool in this game. That aggressive grab. <laughs> okay, let's see. If I really Ganon thought this, the Ganon side was coming. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely on the table. Ganon here at 122 off stage. How is he going to get back versus this Lucas? Oh, he's not going to get back at all. Yeah. And Lucas using that down smash, uh, lingering move that covers the ledge really strong. Ooh, <laughs> for the up smash. Yo, Chaco's going in. I, I like Chaco. He's very aggressive, but in a very uh, smart and calculated way. And we got Ganon right. back at the ledge. Falcon kick, or Ganon, Warlock kick, whatever. Yeah, Warlock I, kick. I'm expecting it to come out of the corner <laughs> soon. It's yeah. pretty fast. It is. I, it seems like he's not. He has. He's been very um, conservative with it. So I mean, he hasn't used it. So I think like maybe he's one of those players that kind of either saves it for that like important mix-up, or he's just not using it yet because he doesn't want to put all his uh, cards out there on the table. Yeah. And you know this early, but he definitely needs to do something because this lead for Chaco Taco is just getting you know more and more exacerbated. Uh, three to one. Lucas with 111 percent. F tilt. Going to put him off stage. Oh, my right. God. How is Ganon going to handle this? Oh. Uh, oh, but I, I do like to use the air dodge. Dash attack going to take go off the top. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, he can definitely do this. Ganon, you know, kills early. He's got a lot of range on those smashes. Like, you know. And then, you know, he's always got the possibility of a Ganon side or, or some sort of gimp. Yeah, you never really know. Ganon, scary character. Does a lot of damage off one hit. Yeah. Chaco Chaco just keeping him Ugh. in the corner, though. Like, that down here to 24. <laughs> Oh, I like the read there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a respectable attempt. I mean, he wasn't he was only going to die for it, so. Yeah. Ooh. That's that killing? Oh, wow. my God. I actually thought that was going to kill. Oh, man. Ooh, I like the Nair attempt. Yeah. If Chaco Taco went a little bit higher with that recovery. I do think he could have timed it a little bit better because, you know, these characters give you kind of enough time to, like, uh, Ness and Lucas, I'm, I'm saying, like, their recoveries take a little bit of setup. Well, no, the thing is he, he was already committed to the double jump Nair, so he had, oh. to, he had to go back up to the stage. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Ooh, yo. And F smash. Yeah. F smash on the spot dodge. Yo, let's. Yo, Purple Rain can still do this. Uh, Chaco is looking pretty good right now, but, I mean, you know, it's Ganon. Okay, how's he going to get back? He has okay, to get around there. Oh, that might be it. That was a really yeah. good trap right yeah. there. Really great trap. you got to respect that PK freeze in this game. It's crazy. Kills you off the side at like 50. Yeah, <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> but Lucas looking pretty pretty cool in this game. I'm, I've never been a biggest fan of Lucas as a character, just me personally. But um, yeah, I mean like he he looks pretty cool. Like he's historically been a pretty uh passive character. He throws a lot of PK fires. He has a little bit of range and he kind of you know camps you out. But like yeah, it looks like he you know you're able to go in, man. A lot of those changes to shield might have did that as well, you know? Maybe. Like, yeah, he can attack your shield probably more a little safely. Got a little bit of disjoints, I think, on, like, some of his aerials because a little sparkle. His fair especially. His fair is a lot better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Let's see what um, changes and adaptations Purple Rain can do to maybe uh, even this, this setup. All right. We're going to the Smashville for game two. I like, I like the pick. Smaller stage. Pretty easy for Ganon to cover the platform, I think. Oh, that's true. Maybe that's... Yeah. I mean, I agree with that in a sense. You know, with those aggressive characters or aggressive players, sometimes Smashville can be dangerous because it can be a little constricting. Um, but, you know, Ganon covering so much space with his smashes might really help, especially that platform covering there in the center. His, his forward air, his back air, his neutral air. They're all really big moves that just cover space. That's true. Ooh, that grab. Yeah. I love the And you're you dead. Grab. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> yo, that was I crazy. I swear that move looks like it's straight out that of a cartoon. <laughs> that move looks look, looks like it's straight out of a cartoon, man. Yeah, it's so like goofy. Some, like some raw minus type, you know, like 
that was ridiculous. What percent was he at? I have no idea, but it was not over 100. Yeah. Ooh, Come the on. double F smash. You try to grab you, that? No, don't try to <laughs> shield grab that. That's not real, man. That might have been like a moment where either he meant to do a dash grab or that might have been a moment where his brain, like his fingers just did it for him. And he, he, it was too late before he realized. Yeah. Oh, I don't think he has a jump. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yo, these matches are going fast. Yo, ultimate's, ultimate's the game. But this uh, Ganon, he's got that forward air in uh, right now. He's trying to get back down so he can actually fight Lucas. But he's kind of stuck on that platform. Still struggling to get in. What I like about Chaco Taco is he's aggressive, but he he's, has a really good, like, mix-up on his, like, rhythm, right? Like, sometimes he gets really, like, defensive like this to kind of pressure you still. And then when you start coming in more, he kind of counters your aggression with his own aggression. Sometimes. Yeah, no, he's milking this leader right now. He's yeah. got Zare, he's got PK Fire, he's got Forward Air. He's got a lot of tools to just, yeah. like, force Ganon into approach. Great mix-up with that uh, down B to change up your momentum. Wow, that Ooh. Forward Air was awesome. He's at 74. The next aerial at ledge will kill. Oh. 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 You try to go for a jab block into yeah. a smash attack, but. You might accidentally did the third hit. Yeah. Okay. How's Ganon getting back? Oh. Ooh. That's oh, unfortunate. Yeah. He tried I, to go for the aerial because he knew Purple Rain had air dodged already. Right. So it was basically, well, it was, was essentially a free kill, but that's actually a free kill. Yeah. <laughs> There's not really much you can do there, especially Ganon. As if he Ganon, air dodged, he's going to just be too low. Terrible mobility in the air. Yeah. Bad recovery.